Welcome back, this is the Amajack. Today we got Gunslinger, Ashford Asylum, Suicidal. And uh, we're going to talk more about disabilities, although a little bit different. So I want to talk about uh, about blind people today. Because, uh... I, 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 like, anybody who has a disability, that, that like, one of the ones that we were talking about last time, one where it just kind of takes away something that's just so fundamental to, like, human existence that everybody takes it for granted. Anytime somebody has one of those, it's not like... I don't want to seem like that kind of person. He was like, you're so brave. But at the same time, I do think it's like kind of admirable. Not not admirable necessarily. That's kind of the wrong word. I don't think they get anything extra for it. <laughs> like, it, 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 it's, it's, it's a bad thing for them to have it. They'd be better off if they didn't. Um, I think anyway. Like, they're probably happy. And uh, they wouldn't want anything to change. And like, you know. I, I agree with that. Like, if they're happy, I'd, I'd rather they just, like, continue being happy. But at the same time, I, I think that anybody with a disability, um... Okay, I, I think that anybody is maybe a little bit too much, but I think that uh, if you were to just, like, remove disability from the world, that overall the world would be a better place. I guess we'll put it that way. I think that some people, like, thrive in, in being disabled and are, are genuinely, truly happy that they have something that makes them different. And, um, you know, they might not necessarily be in a situation where if they were raised without the disability, they would have got the respect. Maybe they got pitied or something, and if they were, like, um, you know, able-bodied, they, they would have been, like, abused, you know? I don't know. Um, so I don't want to say everybody would be better off not being disabled, and I don't, like mean it like that either because again like if, if I could go back in time and be like if I could go back in time and be like yeah I'd rather just you know if I, if I could go back in time and like just remove my mutes my, my situational mutism from myself just like boop there it is it's gone I wouldn't want that because it, it's brought me a lot of value to me even though it's brought me a lot of frustrations and hardships it's, it's also brought a lot of value to my life so I wouldn't want to just go back and do that but I think that, um, on average, I'd, I'd probably be happier if I were to do that. I, I just, I don't know. And and I, I don't think it's that bad that, that I'd want to, like, risk it. You know what I mean? So I don't want to seem like that kind of person where it's like, yeah, just, like, get rid of disability so everybody can be happier. Because I don't think everybody would be happier. A lot of people would be less happy. But I think the overall happiness in the world would be better. Because I, I think that it's, it's largely a bad thing. Anyway. Um, I don't want to... Say that it's like admirable when when somebody's blind, because I don't necessarily believe that. I, uh, I I I believe they're just like living life and and doing what they do. I don't I don't think there's anything admirable about it. Um, but it, it's kind of like a, a similar feeling that I get towards them. A, a feeling of like I, I I guess I'm like impressed by it because if you've ever seen. Like blind people. I mean, I mean, like, you know, we be be. I don't. I don't mean to like judge against people who are like mostly blind. You know, um, like as though they're like lesser beings or something. Um, but uh, have you ever seen somebody who's like truly blind, like just cannot see, has never seen, will never see. The the existence of sight is is a completely foreign concept to them. Like, have you ever seen somebody like that, like going about their daily life? To me, it's just a very impressive thing, like how they handle all the situations that uh, that you might have troubles in. You know, like how they like I saw a video of a uh, of a little girl who was blind opening up a uh, a Christmas present where she got um, like uh, Braille Harry Potter books, and it was a really cool video um, because like you got to see how she was like touching the present. You know, like most people pick it up and like spin it around and look at it, right? But but she was just like feeling up the present, right? Because she can't see. Why would she like spin it around? Like just feel the other side of it. You know what I mean? And that was really cool to see, like how she was tackling that kind of problem. Um, she started to open it, you know, and a similar kind of thing. Like she wasn't like spinning around. Like she was just opening it because why would you have to do that? You can't see anyway. You don't have to like spin it around to get a better view of the of the thing because you can't see anyway you're feeling for it like what which whichever way it's facing right um and uh 
it, it was it was it was just 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 seeing how she handled such a, a simple situation like opening up a present was really cool to see just because it, it showcased how differently people can like survive in the world and it's less of a like an impressiveness with like blind people specifically and more about just like the human body or like the, the a, a person's a, ability to adapt and you know overcome any kind of you know situation that they might be thrown into like if you can't see you can still live a, a pretty happy life and still be fine which like you know obviously like being able to see isn't the most important thing in the world if, if you've been able to see all your life it might definitely rank up there with with uh with things that are the most important to you but you know it, it's it's not really the most important thing just just uh kind of looking at it from a, an outside perspective like out of all the things in your life what's the most important probably blindness isn't really it right or uh, or sight isn't isn't really one of them you know family friends you know uh, all these things are, are more important um so it was just it was really cool to see that and there's so many videos like that and so many uh, i used to work at a grocery store and i'd have um there's this one couple that would come in. Uh, one of them was blind and one of them was deaf. Like one of them was straight blind and one of them was straight deaf. Uh, so it was always uh, it was always cool seeing them walk around and and uh, and help each other and like kind of overcome that. And, like it's just it's really cool seeing people like seeing how people overcome those uh, issues and those problems. You know, I don't know I don't know why, but I always find it fascinating. I really do. It's to the point where, like, this this shouldn't exist, by the way, because it would definitely be abused by people who are gonna like be jerks. Um, but to the point where I, I wish there was like a, a subreddit for videos of blind people and deaf people, like going about their daily lives. Again, this should not exist. <laughs> it will definitely be full of jerks who are like, you know, talking like they're above it. Like, it will definitely attract that kind of crowd. Um, should not exist. <laughs> um, but I would love to watch them because I just, I find it so fascinating how people overcome those disabilities. Because, like, again, like I was talking about in the last episode, these are things that I just take for granted, that you just take for granted, that we all take for granted. You know, being able to see, being able to talk, being able to hear. Like, these are all things that are just normal, natural, for, for like, almost everybody in the world. You know, er almost everybody from like the day they're born has been able to see and hear and maybe not necessarily talk, but <laughs> they've been able to see and hear, right? Um, so and when somebody hasn't been able to, it's, it's just, it's really, really cool seeing how they tackle the problems and, and how they've overcome it because it's, uh, it's, ju it's just an interesting look at kind of like an outsider's perspective at how they handle just life in general. And it's not like I envy them at all. Like, again, I'm I'm happy being able to see and I'm happy being able to hear. I'm I'm very happy that I, I have both of them. But it is it is really cool. I don't I don't think it's like admirable or brave or whatever because I, it's not. Like I'm sure most people, you know, if if at the time that they lost their vision or their hearing or whatever, you know, God came to them and is like. Hey, so, uh, what say you we just, uh, take that away right now? You know, you can keep it if you want, but if you want me to take it, I'll take it. I'm pretty sure, like, 90% of them would be like, uh, no, are you crazy? Even if, like, even if they're born, like, we're just pretending that they have sentience at that point, okay? We're just, we're just, a pre we're just pretending they have some kind of sense of self, okay? Um, but, like, you know, if, 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 like, God just comes to them and is like, hey, uh, that whole seeing thing, do you want it? Like, almost everybody who is blind, I think, is probably going to say yes. Even if right now they wouldn't necessarily want to go back and say it. You know what I mean? Like, at the time, they probably would have said yes. But I don't think anybody out there is like... You know... Wanting to be blind or whatever. They might be happy with it and, and wanting their life to stay the way it is or whatever. But I, I don't think the blindness is for a lot of people. Um... You know something that that brings them joy in and of itself like it's what what, what it's caused and and 
what they've been able to do because of it, maybe. But the, the blindness itself, I don't feel like, is necessarily a point of joy for many people. It's just as I, I don't think that my mute is, my, my situational mutism is, isn't a, a particular point of joy, but I, I do enjoy having it so I can talk about what it's like and um, be able to kind of like educate people on that. Like, I like that. I wouldn't want to go back and get rid of it, but if you asked me at the time, like, hey, how about we just take away your ability to talk? I'd be like, no, you're absolutely insane. I need that. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so it's like this weird kind of thing. Anyway. Anyway. Disability is really cool, is, is the moral of the story. I'm disabled in like 18 different ways, so I'm the coolest person of all is really what I'm saying here. Uh, no, but like, uh, I, I really do love how, how people overcome those, those challenges. It's really cool to see. Get ready to the mold. <sighs> what are we here, boys it's really cool to see. But, uh, yeah, any hoozle. I gotta edit, uh, the, I, I was, I was gonna do two episodes of Serenity for the, the Minecraft series on the other channel. I was going to do two episodes this week, put up one yesterday. I decided not to. I was like, whatever. I'm just going to put up the first one tomorrow, Friday. So it will be up tomorrow, definitely. If it's not, then I'm a dirty liar and you should harass me for it. Um, but it will be up tomorrow. And then uh, business as usual. I'm excited to put it up. Finally get started on some Serenity stuff. It's not a very active server, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, we had a bit of a rocky start. I'm hoping once I get my video up and I start making some proper progress on it, more people will start to, to be proper active on it. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm building a nether hub in my Minecraft, my single player worlds right now. Um, so we've got uh, also build a nether hub in the Serenity world. So I've been asking the, the Discord, like, hey, anybody want to volunteer for that? Because I'm already doing it on my single-player world, and I'd rather just uh, have to build one. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't really want to build two. But nobody's taking it, so I might uh, I might be stuck with it. If I'm the only person playing, then I'll be the only person playing, okay? We'll we'll find people and, have you checked your ammo? and uh, so. get them joining and stuff, but... Uh, yeah, I, I hope other people join. I just I don't want to have to design two two nether hubs. You know, it's not it's not a particularly fun thing to do. I don't think. I mean, it's fun for one, not fun for two. You know, like if I have to do two of them, that's that's too many nether hubs. I want to do other stuff too. I want to build uh, farms and buildings and and cool stuff. I don't want to just be stuck with nether hubs because ultimately, like, it's gonna be the same thing. Basically, just with different blocks. <laughs> you know, big circle. Nether portal in the middle. Some tunnels leading off. It's going to be the same thing, basically. I don't want to design it. I'm already designing one, so I've been asking them, but nobody's responded. We've only got uh, three people, maybe four people on the server right now. I think. And uh, nobody's particularly active. Like, I'm not particularly active, although my first episode hasn't gone up yet. I will be a lot more active after it goes up. Um, so I, mean, I recognize that I'm a part of the problem, but it's got to be done. Somebody's got to get on there and do something. And I don't want to do the nether hub. I am excited to get to episode one up tomorrow so I can start working on episode two. I've been wanting to play on it, but every time I go on, I'm like, what do I do? Like, <laughs> what do I do? I don't want to make progress without uh, like having some kind of recording done and like I'm not at the point yet where I have to be recording it so like you just chop trees for a while <laughs> like it's not really necessary um, so I'm excited to get it up tomorrow so that I can finally hop on and, and have some kind of a goal work towards something It'll be fun. I don't know what I don't know what base design I'm gonna go for. The uh, the single player world is very like. Uh, well, I can show you. I guess again I, I've shown it before, but I can I can show it again. 
I've got uh, I've got shaders and like uh, some new texture stuff in. Like we've got the same crosshair over here as I do over here. See that? It's like the same thing, dude. This one's circular and this one's square, but you know. What can you do, dude? There's nothing I can do, dude. They're the same thing. I like this crosshair a lot, so. Um, but it's a very like cold and like nethery kind of stuff. So I was thinking for the, the SMP base, I was like, yeah, maybe I'll do like the opposite. This cat's back in the game. Like a very hot like forest or something. But I'm not sure. I went to a nether fortress to try and get uh, a nether wart so I could start making some hot blocks, I guess. Nah. <laughs> I just got my butt handed to me and I'm like, yeah. No. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to build with simpler materials and that's going to have to change the uh, design of it a little bit. Just a little. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to end up doing like a cave base, like an overgrown cave base like I normally do in SMP servers. It's very simple to build. I enjoy building it. I don't have a series on it, so it'll be unique at least for me. Um, and it'll be uh, it'll be fun. So I'm, think I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's going to be what I'm going to do. I'm not sure though. I've got to make a decision. But I have a little bit of time, I have a few days. I have to get started on recording it. It's probably like Monday-ish. It's Thursday today, so I gotta... I better record... Oh my, I'm burping. Like a weirdo. Why am I burping? I haven't even eaten in a while. I don't know why, dude. Uh, but I gotta get started on recording for episode 4 of the uh, single player Let's Play. Today, probably. Maybe tomorrow. Um... And then after I get that done, which goes up on Monday, um, I'll be able to, to start recording the Serenity SMP video for next week as well. Get started on the base and designing some stuff. It's fun. I like I like building. I like the start of, uh, of Minecraft, you know? A lot of people don't like it. I love it. I love getting started in a new world and... Building up all of your gear and villager trading halls and getting all this kind of stuff going on. Like, I love it. I, I find it so enjoyable. Bring up the trading controls and Which is why I think I'm personally going to vote for um, resetting the Serenity SMP server on occasion. I don't know how often. Like, it might be like, you know, a few years between resets or something like that. But I don't want, I want, to, I want to be able to have that kind of like early game feel a little bit. And I think it's good for the content as well. To have things be uh, be changing like that, I think a lot of people would prefer if it was just the same all the time. But for bringing in new viewers, um, I think that that's important to to have it a little bit more early, I guess. Maybe like I, in ep like episode one is always the best performing. Okay, so the more episodes one, the more episode ones you can have, the better. <laughs> this is the way it goes. Um, so you know, season three, episode one; season four, episode one; season five, episode one. Yes, that's why I think the Hermitcraft and Minecraft and all these guys, they always do like multiple seasons. And it's not like, you know, a season every few months, but, you know, sometimes it's like, yeah, it's time to reset the world. We're getting a little bit bored of it, you know. It's it's time to, to start anew and enjoy the, the new content that's come out. Um, get like a new fresh world and, you know, maybe there's new biomes and stuff to explore. Cave update is coming out uh, soonish. We're not going to have a reset for that, but, uh,. Hermitcraft might. I don't think they will though. I think I think the Hermitcraft server right now is like fairly new. I think they made it with like the Nether update or something, or just before the Nether update, so they're probably still good. But like then the the cave update would be a great opportunity to uh hello. This is a great opportunity to like make a new world if you've uh been running one for like uh, a few years. It's like, yeah, we'll just make a new world. Single player world, I want it to always be the same because I I want to have that that long running world and be able to really like master the game and then like have everything done in it and be like yeah we're basically just playing creative now. Um, but the uh, the, the server, the SMP. I think I think we're gonna be resetting it on occasion. Ten years from now, we may only have like four or five resets. You know, like it's it's probably not gonna be a 
all the time thing, but I'm, I'm gonna be, I think the Hermitcraft server oftentimes has, uh, cause I think I've watched like some hermits who have, uh, been like, yeah, well most people voted for it. I would have liked to have stuck on the same map, but yeah, this is what everybody wants and it's not that bad, you know? I, I'd definitely be on the other side. I'd be, I'd be on the side that's ruining their experience. <laughs> It's always majority though, right? The majority wins. Have you checked your ammo? I'm okay with that. I think we'd win. I think I think uh, I think a reset would win. I think that most people generally tend to to like resetting their their worlds on occasion. Um, I didn't mean to buy the F twenty elevens, but it'll they'll they'll do. It's fine. Um, I think most people like resetting the world on occasion. Just starting a new. I mean, it's a thing that happens everywhere, right? Like Path of Exile does leagues, so you get uh. You know, like a fresh world, uh, a fresh like game to, to kind of like play through, and new economy and all that. You know, Diablo's got their version of it. Um, you know, Fortnite's got their like season pass or whatever. You know, like everybody's always got like uh, like I think Rocket League just started a new season as well. Uh, they always got seasons and stuff, right? Like it's always it's always nice having a a fresh start. I think that Path of Exile does it too frequently. I, I think that it just doesn't work for a game like Path of Exile, personally. I, and it obviously does, because like almost everybody that plays Path of Exile plays on the, the leagues. Um, for me personally, though, I don't think it works. Like objectively, yes, it's it's a good idea for, for the company to, to run it like that. It's just, for me, I'd, I'd enjoy it if it weren't a thing, but then the game wouldn't be as popular and there wouldn't be as many updates and it wouldn't be as good. So like it obviously works, but just I'm asking for a unicorn here, okay? I'm feeling generous. But uh, Serenity S and P will probably have seasons as well in the future. Again, I don't. It's not gonna be soon. Like we've we've only just made the server. Like we're obviously not resetting it anytime soon at all. Um, but eventually, right? Get a fresh start, fresh economy. Get rid of all the farms that everybody's got. Rebuild everything. Have a chance to make a new base and stuff it's good right you get a little bit of lag over time as well and it's like too much of an annoyance to go and fix it you get to introduce new members and have them on like a server fresh and it's just good right anyway that's gonna do it for today thank you for watching remember to like the video if you like it subscribe to see more of the future comment if you have anything to say and i'll see you next time Bye bye